Good morning, folks. Welcome to an ACC Queensland Daily Weather App today, the 15th of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by a major sponsor, Townsvilleshed.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed, safe, accredited shed. All right, 24 hours till 9 o'clock, thanks to the Bureau of Meteorology here. We've had a uh, big rainfall across southeast Queensland. It hasn't been everywhere, but there's been quite a few of them, uh, quite a few of these storms around dumping falls up to about 130 millimetres in parts of the coastline here around southeast Queensland and also through the Wide Bay Burnett district as well. Up here in far north Queensland, we've had, particularly around the southwestern and western Cape in general, we've had some big falls coming through on the eastern side of a tropical low located in the Gulf of Carpentaria. Million dollar question, exactly where is this low? It looks as though it's around about the central part of the Gulf of Carpentaria, but it also looks like a very elongated, messy low pressure system, not your typical tight, symmetrical low across here. So this is one of the reasons why, of course, the cyclone watch is being dumped for, for this particular system. Not because it can't produce winds that are bordering cyclonic, but because it is so elongated that those winds aren't expected to wrap more than halfway around the circulation centre. Nevertheless, we can see significant rainfall coming onto the western parts of Cape York Peninsula, and we can see significant rainfall starting to shift southwards into the north tropical coast region we're also starting to see some shower activity coming in off the off the coral sea towards the north tropical coast Further southwards, we can see some light patchy rain from all that deep convection further to the north being uh, being deposited further southwards into the Mackay region. And uh, overnight last night, we had some storm activity off the central Queensland coast progressing further offshore. Uh, today, we're going to see some isolated showers and storms in the Capricornia region, potentially, and uh, continuation of this light rain further north. But the big stuff, the important stuff, that's going to be way up here in far north Queensland. Right, if we track rainfall through the day today, we can see significant rain up here in the Cape, far north Queensland areas are starting to develop also around northeast Queensland as the day progresses. Uh, widespread monsoonal squall lines coming through on the western Cape as well. Isolated showers and thunderstorms here around the Capricornia region too. While they won't be all that uh, significant compared to yesterday's, there could be some local moderate to heavy falls in some slow moving storms through here. And all this light grey stuff here is suggesting a bit of light patchy rain, maybe an isolated convective shower as we progress into this evening and night time we're going to see rainfall increase across the north tropical coast and we're also going to see rainfall increase across the gulf coast these two areas will start to see some very heavy rain overnight tonight into early tomorrow by the time we talk tomorrow, we are expecting to see some falls in excess of 100 millimetres have, uh, that have developed across the southwestern parts of the Cape and across northeast Queensland as well. We may see some heavier falls than that already by tomorrow morning as well, getting closer to the 200 millimetre range in isolated pockets of the coastline. We can see these Capricornia and eastern parts of the central highlands and coalfields seeing a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms. Once again, potential for some moderate falls in those and a few showers around the Mackay with Sunday's coast plus the potential for some very light rain across eastern parts of Queensland streaming off all that madness that's going up up there in the far north. Severe weather warning issued by the Bureau of Meteorology for parts of Cape York Peninsula, parts of the Gulf Country and uh, northern parts of the northern Goldfields Upper Flinders. Chances are that that will be extended out towards the north tropical coastline as well as we see a convergence zone setting up on the eastern side of the Cape as well as the western side of the Cape. And while we can understand that we're guaranteed some pretty heavy rain on this coastline between Cooktown and Cardwell particularly, perhaps down to around about the town, the uh, Ingham Rolling Stone area, but uh, in the meantime we don't really know how heavy it could get. There are varying levels of heavy here where we see generally 150 to 300 versus falls up to 6 or 700 in some of the other guidances. So uh, at this stage it's just a little bit difficult to pinpoint and target particular areas of extreme rainfall and whether or not those areas of extreme rainfall will happen on the coastline and exactly what parts of the coastline. So what we can sort of guarantee is that there's going to be some heavy rainfall on the northeast coastline from Cooktown all the way down to Cardwell, perhaps down to Ingham, uh, and then in there, there could be some very localised heavy falls. And you can see the expected rainfall drops off pretty suddenly once you get south of about Ingham. And as we get down to towns, we're expecting some moderate falls. And then further south of that point, we're expecting only generally light shower activity. And also rainfall across northwest Queensland here around the Gulf Country is going to exacerbate the flood situation that's already present in some of the rivers and, streak, uh, rivers and streams across the Gulf of Carpentaria. And you can see we've got some fantastic agreement there that there's going to be some big rain. It's just the exact areas, once again, very similar to northeast Queensland, just the exact areas of the biggest falls that's difficult to pinpoint. But for this area, the actual spatial coverage of widespread heavy rainfall, it's quite extraordinary. 
So for obvious reasons, we'd want to be avoiding the waters in the Gulf, Gulf of Carpentaria. We'd also want to be avoiding the waters off northeast Queensland. The waters mightn't be too bad today, but they're going to, uh, they're going to deteriorate pretty badly over the next 24 to 48 hours, plus the fact that we've got these squall lines and convergence zones. We're going to see some pretty strong winds associated with any rainfall that occurs in that area. So expect to see winds gusting up to 30, possibly 35 knots in these waters offshore uh, with these squally conditions as we start to develop more and more more rainfall on that easterly flow and of course as I mentioned the southeast gulf we've got a low pressure system might tighten up a little bit between now and landfall and the expectation particularly between Morno and the western cape coastline we could see winds at 25 to 30 knots gusting to 40 45 knots at times with once again some squall lines developing Outside of that, she's pretty uh, she's pretty quiet. South easterly winds, obviously, 15 knots, 15 to 20. Typical typical stuff for what you get in a ridge-type pattern for the rest of the state. But the monsoon creating all sorts of havoc up north and the convergence zone that the monsoon creates in the east is going to create a bit of havoc off the northeast Queensland coastline for boaties. Have a good day. And remember, if you want more details, join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. That's where we get down and dirty and have a look at exactly what's expected to happen over the next 24 to 48 hours in a great deal of detail. Plus, we look further ahead as well. Have a good day.